Hey everybody, this is going to be a little bit of an intro towards a new project I'm going to do. It should be an easy one. This is a, a new kit from Atlantis. This is a very old tool. I think this is actually from 1957. But this is the 1957 Cadillac El Dorado. And this one is, they just re-released this one. From this, uh, I think this month or last month so I end up seeing it and you know there's not many of these Cadillac kits out there there's a couple of them that are not authentic Cadillacs um, can't remember what brand it is but it's one of the Japanese brands and uh, this is a 125th scale you know, a lot of the Lantis kits that they have is odd scales, but this one is one of is a 125th. So I thought it would be a good kit to get. Not much to the box. Same picture all the way around. I don't show you much of this kit, but inside. There's not tons of parts. I did open all this up. I already started cutting off the tree. Um, but as you see, there's you know, your windshield and your rear window is also the uh, surround, you know, the chrome. So you're going to have to mask that off and chrome it. Comes with two figures, which is pretty neat. Comes with a guy and a woman all dressed up real fancy. You got a Cadillac, you go to fancy events. And your chrome tree, of course I'm going to leave that in the plastic. Got the nice Cadillac chrome wheels, big grill. Got the Dolly Parsons on there. One of these actually looks uh, a bent. So I have to fix that and then the rear. I have to strip the chrome, I don't know. I haven't opened it. I'm going to keep it in the plastic for now. And there's all the rest of the parts. So it is the authentic mold. So it's going to have the all plastic wheels. Which is fine. I've had kits where I've used these before. And once it's done, you really can't tell. It's hard plastic tires. So as long as you do it right, it don't look bad. Be easy to do the white wall on it. Oh boy. So the goofy part of this kit. The part that's going to give a lot of people a hard time. It's going to give me a hard time. And it's the body. So the one thing I thought that was weird is, is that the actual bottom is all one piece so their instructions say to put the interior into this and then glue it together but as you can see you know it's it it, it requires some sanding and it's going to be best to have that glued together so I was doing a little test fitting and that's why everything's off the tree. Because I want to glue these two halves together. And then place the interior inside and I was making sure that that can be done. I think it can be done. And if not, I'm sure there's a way I can force it in there. So, but, you know, it's got that cool suicide doors, but that real nice classic Cadillac look. But, um, you know, I've had bodies that were actually worse than this. It was, you know, the, the side pieces, the top, then the bottom, and then, like, the bumper. So it was, like, six-piece body. You glue them together, and you sand them, and you take your time. They, they look pretty darn good. I think this one won't be so bad once I get it glued together, sanded, and primed. after the misses. 
So for the interior, it's not a lot of detail. Looks like they used the rough end mill when they were making the tool to make it look like carpet. It, it'll work. I'm not going to flock it. Here's one of the seats. So they got labeled on their back and bottom because it is hard to tell the difference. I think that's the front seat. And uh, here is the rear seat. That's when you can tell because of the, the curvature on that. So I just sit there like that. These pieces are going to be the hard ones to actually get to look right. This is the side chrome. So you're going to have to do a lot of cleaning up on these. And then uh, chrome them yourself. So I think since I have to chrome that one, I think I'm going to end up stripping all the chrome and doing it. about all that bell noise that's the, the cat going wild it's playtime here's the door cards these are probably going to be the ones that will cause a little bit of trouble and the only thing I think is going to cause trouble is the dashboard is mounted in them two holes so once these are in that might be a little hard to get that uh, lined up Here is the bottom part of the dash and the top part of the dash. So I need a little fussing with that to get that lined up. But uh, I think once I got it glued, it'll be easy to sand and do some filling if I have to. So here's the axles. I probably ain't going to use those. But I do like to save them just in case. I use a uh, steel bailing wire usually. There's the seat back. So that's the back of the seat. The roof. Now this this floats so you gotta actually glue that windshield in to have that at the right height. There's your front suspension. The rear end. And uh, the steering wheel. And then the steering column. So that's all the parts. Not a not a huge part count. But uh, you really don't have to. the decal sheet. So you got the white walls for the tires, you got the center Cadillac logo for the rims or the hubcaps. You got the Eldorado and then the Cadillac and the Eldorado. So since this has that Cadillac decal right there, I usually have bad luck putting that decal over that little line there. So I think I'm going to end up just sanding that off and then just lining it up best because it does seem a little low. So I think if I put that decal on there, it's actually going to come up over this. So I don't think it will line up very well, so I'm going to just sand that off. The panel lines and everything look nice and crisp, but so at least those are part of the tooling is still good. But, you know, you're going to end up doing sanding on any model no matter what, so... A little bit of sanding you do want you glue this together is nothing. But uh, I haven't done my research. I don't know how old this, when the last release of this was. Who was the original maker since Alanis has gotten so many old kits from all over the place. Yeah, people don't want the tools anymore so they're just keeping, keeping the stuff alive. 
I'm sure I wouldn't have bought this kit if it wasn't for them bringing it back. Looking at instructions. Ready for the ball. It's got six steps, that's including the figures. But the first step is the interior. Then the body. And see how they just put that interior right into the bottom half of the body. And then they glue that in there. So now you've got a recommendation. Do Make sure you do a test fit before. And using rubber bands. Um, I guess you could do it like a uh, airplane. Do your interior up. Glue it all together. Mask the interior off. And then glue and sand that and then paint the body. You could do it that way. I'd screw up the interior if I did it that way probably. So then you're grilling your headlights and your taillights, rear bumper, and then your wheels and final assembly there. And then, then your final details, so your, your windshield and your roof. And then your figures. Your figures are just two pieces, but it does give you a nice color call out. So you can't tell what it looks like in the plastic that will help you differentiate everything in there and then so not a super complicated kit the longest part is probably going to actually be the body work and all the details are going to be in the paint so it can be a really cool kit you take your time I'd probably do a mediocre kit I won't spend a ton of time because I'm not going to add a bunch of stuff to this. I'm not going to add, uh, I might add exhaust pipe. Well, probably not. It's a curbside. So, I think this is one of those, uh, Beeler kits. Anybody got any information on the history of this kit? Please leave it in the comments below. I'll probably look at scale mates just to see because I'm interested in it. But other than that, um, once I get going on this and get a good update, I'll let you guys see it. Until next time, I'll talk to you then. Bye.